Hey guys, this is Austin, and today I'm here with the video taking a look at the Meta One Developer Kit. The guys at Meta invited me out to their campus in San Francisco where I got to try out their augmented reality glasses. The easiest way to describe it is a mix between Oculus Rift and Google Glass. You have a screen for each eye similar to Oculus, but it's transparent like glass, so you can see through to have content appear in the real world. The current developer kit is definitely early, but it has potential. It's a bit bulky, but there's a lot of technology packed in here. Up top are a pair of cameras, a 720p RGB camera alongside an IR camera that tracks depth. The screens are each 960x540, which while not incredibly high resolution, works decently considering you can see through the display. It doesn't entirely take up your vision, but there are a pair of lenses included to give you either a normal field of view, or to magnify the screen to make everything a bit easier to see. Alright, so I spent a little time with the Meta One Developer Kit, and I've got to say, this is a very unique experience. I've tried a few AR things, but just being able to reach out, grab this, oh, oh. reach out, grab it, move it wherever I want, it tracks not only with my hand, but with my head as well. And it's really interesting, like for example, I hold my hand up here. It's really impressive, like how it just able, it's able to track my individual fingers. With just a minute, I can just like reach out, grab this, move it over here. It's not like something I have to think about. It's just very, very natural. It kind of reminds me when kind of touch screens started to become popular. It's just like, oh yeah, you just touch it. Of course, you don't need a mouse, you don't need a keyboard, you don't need all these things, it just works. I had some issues seeing a clear image without my glasses, but when I put them on under the headset, it helped quite a bit with the trade-off of being a bit uncomfortable. Right now, the first developer kit is shipping to people who pre-ordered, but Meta is also working on a more polished version, the Meta Pro. This is a much nicer looking pair of glasses with better 720p screens that will be portable with a small pocket computer versus the developer kit that needs to be tethered to a laptop. So the output is comprised of see-through stereoscopic uh, displays that allow you to superimpose augmented reality information on the real world. And the input is comprised of a depth sensor that essentially builds a really, really high fidelity map of the environment. And then we build software to essentially identify important areas in your environment that you could stick holograms on. So it's essentially that sort of Iron Man vision from the garage where he places holograms selectively around the room. The software really is the impressive part here. With basically no setup, the meta will track your hands as well as the environment around you, remembering where things are even as you look around. They're serious about the Iron Man angle as well, as they've hired Jace Hansen, the designer of the UIs from Iron Man and the Avengers, along with Ender's Game. Usually a, a 2D designer is going to be used to like a grid that's on a, a 2D plane and so it's very XY and they're not used to thinking about um, things in Z space and now we've got this new uh, dimension literally in the glasses that we can design for. I've been lucky enough to like do it in films and so now it's kind of like this exciting new thing that we actually get to make it real so it's pretty cool. Both the Meta One Developer Kit and Meta Pro are a work in progress. The screens, while decent, still aren't as clear as they could be, and being able to have the headset be entirely standalone would be a huge plus. That said, Meta is hard at work on these problems and more, so with another year or two of work, they could really have something here. So what do you guys think? Is Meta Glass something you would be interested in? Definitely be sure to let me know in the comments below. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you in the next one.